Welcome back to Comics with Drew. This is Drew, and today I am reviewing my first manga. So let's dive right into it. Hmm. Wait. Nah. I, nah. I know better. You read this right to left, not left to right. Hmm. Anyway, okay. Enough of the jokes. This is My Hero Academia, Volume 1. It is the very first manga that I have ever read, and I freaking love this book. I want to give a shout out to Perch uh, of Comics by Perch fame uh, for basically introducing me or challenging anybody in general to uh, take a look at manga if they had not read it and to see what Western comics might be able to learn from it. And I am hooked. This is probably going to be an expensive hobby. Hmm. But I digress. I, uh, if you don't know, uh, I actually am an, a creator. I'm a comic creator. I have done webcomic creation for many, many years. But currently, I'm working on a graphic novel or a comic book, like a Western style comic book. And I am looking into everything that I can learn to uh, hone my skill to make my project the best project I can make it. And to that extent and to that end, I am happy to read manga. So if you're not familiar with My Hero Academia, it is one of the best-selling manga of all time. And so again, as this is my first one, typically, uh, I, you know, I looked into manga in general to see exactly how it's produced, uh, you know, how it's made, how it gets popular or not popular. Basically, manga that gets popular gets a start in weekly publications or even, you know, bi-monthly publications. In this particular case, it's uh, Shonen Jump, Weekly Shonen Jump. And so they get in there and if they're popular, they're, the readers vote on them and uh, they continue getting published until the creator decides that he's done making that manga or whatever. My Hero Academia, uh, for those unfamiliar, is a superhero manga and it's kind of like, it's a little bit like X-Men only without the angst and all of the uh, uh, social commentary. Uh, it's pretty much a, a world where our hero, uh, Midoriya here, this is him, um, he idolizes uh, a particular professional hero uh, named All Might. This is All Might. And uh, he wants to grow up to be like All Might and be a professional superhero. Uh, and in this world, about 80% of the population have manifest what they call quirks. And the quirks are basically a, a kind of superpower and so there's about 20% of the population that does not have them. Unfortunately, our boy Midoriya here does not have a quirk. He's, he's one of the 20%. And so this book basically talks about, um, well, it's got, the, I guess, the first seven chapters. Yeah, the first seven chapters. It has his origin, roaring muscles, entrance exams, starting line, smashing into academia, what I can do for now, and, um, or what, yeah, what I can do for now, and costume change. And it's, it's basically an origin story and, and an introduction to the world of My Hero Academia. So basically, Midoriya wants to become a, a superhero. He's in middle school and he wants to go to the best high school for uh, superpowered individuals. His goal is to try to study and uh, get in through academic ability rather than necessarily quirk ability. And through the course of this book, he winds up encountering All Might, uh, who then reveals to him that uh, his powers aren't necessarily genetically uh, earned or, or manifested or evolved, uh, but there's a secret, and uh, he's gonna let uh, Midoriya in on that secret, and this is basically how Midoriya winds up getting into the superhero school and becomes a professional superhero. So I think that they're they're in the high 20s now on Tankobon volumes. Again, uh, a Tankobon is a paperback collection of manga that has been printed in the Weekly Shonen Jump magazine. And so this is the first volume. I've already picked up volume two and volume three, and I am eager to read those and review them. In fact, I think I might just make Monday, Manga Monday. I might just do a new manga review every single Monday. And if there's one that you would like to have reviewed, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Uh, if you like and subscribe, I will do my best to put out a new review every Monday. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these um, Tankabon collections of manga or manga 
And I'm gonna go with manga, by the way, as a pronunciation, because I just like that better, personally. So, a couple things I wanted to say. This book is written, the, the pacing on this book is phenomenal. There's no navel gazing in this book. There, there is no uh, ang angst-ridden soliloquies about uh, why things suck or why things are awful or in the world and what am I gonna do? What are these giant philosophical questions? It's basically, Adoria wants to be a superhero and he's gonna do everything he can to become a superhero. So, uh, it's really inventive, unlike X-Men, uh, in My Hero Academia, the uh, heroes aren't um, minorities, they're the majority. In X-Men, you've got them as a minority, and it's used as a metaphor for, you know, uh, minorities that are oppressed and whatnot. That's kind of the opposite here. They kind of flip that uh, on its ear, and they celebrate these heroes. So you'll have heroes with a specific kind of quirk, and basically they will do whatever they can to... Uh, hone that individual quirk and become professional heroes. Now they haven't really gotten into uh, supervillains or where supervillains necessarily come from or whether supervillains are failed heroes or they're just people that decide they don't want to be a hero, they want to use their powers for, for ill. Uh, they, they, have, they don't really address that in this particular volume and I'm really interested to see how they actually address that going forward. The art is phenomenal. Um, like I said, uh, if you're new to, to, to manga, the book is read right to left. And I know for all you manga fans out there, this is kind of basic stuff. But it's a really inventive format for comics. So when they actually first put these in Weekly Shonen Jump, um, a lot of times they'll get full color treatments uh, and they'll usually be you know, 18 to 30 pages. Um, and so you kind of see that here. This, this would have been a full color page. That would have been full color. And, uh, but as the story goes along and as they pick it up, you start seeing it just, just goes straight to uh, black and white and grayscale. Um, I freaking love this book. I, I love uh, Midoriya as a character. Uh, he is, he, he's a bit of a whiner. Uh, and in the anime that I've watched, I, I, I watch the anime after I read the chapters, he definitely is uh, an acquired uh, taste because he just cons consistently doubts himself and, and, and whether or not he can do whatever he wants to do, even though he's working so hard. I can't really recommend this book enough. If you are into superheroes, if you're into Western comics and uh, superhero comics uh, in general, this is a perfect gateway manga, and uh, I, I highly recommend it. The art, like I said, is very inventive. Um, it's very dynamic. Let me uh, see if I can get some... You know, I, one of the things that I've mentioned in what I learned from Manga, the earlier video, is I love how they do flashbacks here. So you'll see here on regular, like present time panels, you'll see white backgrounds here. But then in this particular book, they, they, they treat the uh, flashbacks in, in like a black bar background. So you'll, you can kind of see what's going on in the past. And it really delineates uh, the, the time frame, so it helps you keep track of whether you're where you are in the story. He grows up uh, with a, 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 I guess, a frenemy, for lack of a better term. This guy has uh, the power to uh, basically secrete nitroglycerin-type substances onto his palms, which he can then uh, slap together and make explosions. And ultimately, that particular person is jealous, or, or he, for some reason, he's kind of angry with Midoriya here because uh, he wants to become a superhero, but he doesn't have the uh, the necessary quirk. He hasn't manifested any quirk. And so, for whatever reason, this really pisses off his buddy who makes his life a living uh, torture fest, for lack of a better term. Anyway, seven chapters to this. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal book. I highly recommend it. There's a, quite a bit of a twist here. It, it's it's kind of like X-Men meets Shazam, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but not quite, you know, it's, it's, re it's really a unique story and, and I've not seen anything like it. I've seen a lot of things that, that are kind of close to it, um, but nothing quite like this. Um, the, the pacing, like I said, is phenomenal. The art is phenomenal. The story is very inventive. Uh, there's actually laugh out loud moments in, in this particular manga. And that's another thing that I don't see a lot in comics these days. You don't, they're called comics you would think that they were humorous and for the most part there's not really a lot of there's not really a lot of humor that goes on in western comics these days uh, unless you're talking about like say deadpool uh which is really the last time i actually laughed out loud at a comic book was an issue from deadpool uh way back like 10 years ago or something like that um but but this story my hero academia 
and also um, the next uh, manga that I'm going to review, One Punch Man, uh, there are laugh out loud moments. And what that says about this particular medium is that they know their target audience. Uh, manga creators aren't on social media for the most part yelling at people um, and, and telling their fans that they're wrong or telling their fans that they're toxic or, or they've got whatever other perceived weird problem that uh, these people typically seem to find to complain about fans with in Western comics. Uh, they just make their comic, they make their story, and they, and they kick it out. Someone was telling me on social media, on Twitter, I believe, that, um, or maybe it was on Twitter, or maybe it was, uh, yeah, no, it was on Twitter. Uh, there was a, a person who was telling me that um, the workload for these books is about, you know, 18 to 20 pages, and on special occasions you'll get 30 pages. Um, and, and even so, when you have one person with like a small staff and a small studio cranking out 18 pages a week, that is an amazing amount of work. That is a huge workload. If you've not created comics, you, you don't know this. I, like I, 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 I did a, a web comic every single day for like two years straight. Um, I did a web cartoon and that was, you know, I had a full-time job while I was doing that and that was just a, a lot of stress to maintain that particular schedule to do that because I'd be coming home from work and I'd be putting the, I'd write an idea down and I'd ink it and I'd pencil it and ink it and color it and, or scan it and color it and put it up and it was just you know a very very hectic stressful thing these guys are cranking this stuff out I mean they're cranking out massively ma massive quality here uh, in in 18 or on a weekly basis you don't see action like this on, in Western comics these days you, you just don't really see this I mean look I mean we don't have any background here all we have is our principles and onomatopoeias and speed lines and bold 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 lines and it's it's phenomenal it's it's just I freak I, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love this so five stars um, I don't really do star ratings, but you know, maybe I'm gonna start doing star ratings now. I will give this a, a five out of five stars. Highly recommend it. It's uh, only like what, like it's 10 bucks, you know? I mean, I think I got it for less. Um, if you don't read manga, pick this up. If you like superhero comics, pick this up. Um, and if you don't like reading left or, or right to left, then I, I don't know what to tell you. Expand your horizons. It's not like you're looking at uh, subtitles or, or uh, bad dubbing here. They have very inventive ways of using sequential art and, and manga, and uh, I, I'm a big fan. So, um, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Um, like I said, uh, in summary, it's a superhero manga about this kid who uh, gets a superpower and uh, he goes to a high school to learn how to be a professional superhero. That's pretty much the long and the short of it. It's a very high concept. The writing is phenomenal, the characters are well realized, the characters are extremely inventive, and uh, the, the dialogue is uh, hysterical and hilarious. My Hero Academia, Volume 1, go pick it up at your local bookstore or uh, your favorite online retailer, and you will not regret it. Again, this is Comics with Drew. Uh, I appreciate you uh, watching. Uh, I'm getting back into the swing of doing videos again, and uh, I'm going to be talking about all kinds of pop culture as well as... Um, uh, manga and comic books and so if you like what you heard uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and uh, I read all the comments and I pretty much like all the comments as well and I definitely appreciate the engagement again thanks for your time and I'll see you later